Nine nine seven. Okay, keep it. And then in the center, in the center. Oh! Like slightly out of frame. What is? The whole thing, come on. Like, 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 a, like, a, like a, uh, slightly off. You just move everything a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah! That's good. Alright, wait, wait, stop, 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 actually, um. So here we have our state of the art headphones. Um, first step with these is to throw them away. Um, you're going to want to get your own pair of closed ear headphones. The pair of headphones I use are the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pro. Um, they're great closed ear headphones. They're a little pricey. There are many other headphones though that you can use. Next we have this camera bag that I love to use um, to put the Tascam in. Um, usually there are things inside you're going to want to remove them. Um, it's got a lot of pockets to hold extra batteries. You know, it's a lovely, lovely bag to use. Next, this is our dead cat. This is a road dead cat. Um, they're used to block out sound. I highly recommend this one. Um, it is just a great peer piece of uh, gear. You just put the microphone in that hole, simple as it gets. Next, this road microphone is the Rode. NTG3B. Now it comes in this little carrying case. We just wanted to take it out so we didn't harm it. Um, let me see here. Put it back in. Um, this is a phantom powered uh, microphone um, that is lovely to use. Um, I recommend it. Um, next, the other microphone that we have. This is the Rode NTG2. Um, this requires one AA battery uh, to power it, and it is a, another amazing uh, Rode microphone. Uh, so here's the name right there, NTG3B for the other one. That's a Phantom powered one. Both great microphones. Here's uh, our universal shock mount. Um, so this has a shoe mount on it, so you can put it on a camera if you want, and it also has a screw for a boom pole. Here's another shock mount that we have. Um, this is a road shock mount. Um, and uh, I like using this one. It just, you have to set it up. All you have to do is grab the four little screws from one of the bags and you're gonna wanna screw it in um, with uh, one of the pieces of the shock mount into the base. And just make sure you don't lose these little screws. Bada bing, bada boom. It's done. Nice, easy, doesn't take that long. Now we have one of our lav mics. This is our Smart Lav Plus from Rode. Um, it has a little microphone with a little um, wind guard right there. There's a microphone. And at the other end, a 3.5 millimeter cable. Um, this you will plug into your phone. They have an app, or you can also just plug into voice memos. Just remember if you're gonna wanna use it and you have an iPhone, a more recent iPhone, make sure you have the adapter, the 3.5 millimeter. Now this little thing right here, the SC6, is what you're gonna use with your lav mics. It has a 3.5 millimeter male thing and uh, three slots, three 3.5 millimeter channels. Two of them, um, if you if I focus, um, you uh, can plug in two different lav mics into it. And then the third one, which has a little headphone symbol, you put your headphones in, um, so you can monitor the audio that you are getting. Finally, this zoom. Oh, so now I'm gonna teach you guys how to use this zoom. Ha. You thought, no, you do not touch this, no, no. Be my guest, um, if you wanna learn how to use it, go ahead. This is the Tascam DR60D Mark II. This is what I use, I love it. Um, there is a video for the basics of how to use this on the channel, and um, I recommend watching it. 
not just because I made it, because, uh, you know, it'll, it, it will help you a lot when recording your audio. Ooh, the creme de la creme. This <laughs> road bike to plug into your camera, like, you could use it if you want. It's not the greatest, but it works. Thank you.